Building 20 was built in the Second World War as a temporary structure. There is no single building in the United States and possibly the world that has been more responsible for innovation in the last 50 to 60 years than Building 20 at MIT. And for a long time, people like me and others who study these trends were asking, why is it that this building has been the home of so much great practical innovation? And basically it comes down to this, my friends, it was a temporary building. Nobody cares if you knock a wall out here or a wall out there. Nobody cares if you put a new door in here and a new window in there. You see, the physical architecture was able to follow the architecture of the culture. The flow of ideas was not blocked by physical barriers. You can't go back to your office today, I'm sure, and start knocking holes in walls, but you can at least think about where the fluidity is.